Okay, so first of all, thank you everyone for attending today. Uh, we will present to you our project, which is build, Building Change Detection with Khalifa Sat and Deep Learning. This is a project we worked in, uh, we worked on in MBRC, and uh, we will go through the steps that went from uh, collecting the data set to like creating the model and then testing the results. Uh, so first of all, if you have, uh, if you know already about change detection, it is like the analysis of uh, two or more time phased images taken in the same geographical area. So in change detection, we detect the changes happening in two time frames. And specifically in this task, we will do uh, building change detection. Uh, so as you can see here in the images shown, we have time frame one, time frame two, and then the model outputs for us the change map. So here, for example, we have a ground area. Then we had the new building, new buildings built in the area. Uh, the change map shows for for us the areas that had these changes. So as we mentioned before, we will go through data set collection, then the pre-processing of uh, Khalifa Sat images, the labeling of the custom data set, data set, and training and testing and evaluation of the model. So for uh, Khalifa Sat imagery, they are high resolution images uh, with uh, uh, like per meter accuracy. So we have here two images of uh, uh, an area in Dubai. One is in 2020 and one is in 2022. We collected those images of uh, different areas in Dubai and we uh, we took two time frames uh, of the same geographical area to collect the data set. After that, we did uh, data set uh, pre-processing steps, uh, which was a long process since uh, the, we have two images of the same area that needs to be on the exact same location. So the first step we did was georeferencing the images. And uh, we had to do that for the pairs and make sure that the pairs are on the exact same location. As you can see, we faced some challenges to do due to the viewing angles of the buildings, which we then solved. So we have here the streets, as you can see, are correctly georeferenced, but the buildings would like differ a little because of the viewing angle of the satellite at the time of taking the image. So another uh, pre-processing step we had to do was to make sure that the uh, images are cropped on uh, the exact same area. So this is, as you can see, the pair that we had uh, was not on the, it didn't have the same exact starting point. So we cropped it using the, uh, uh, location intersect between both images. And this is the resultant uh, two images of before and after. After that, we had to do patch cropping uh, 
to the data set, which is uh, another challenge since uh, in satellite imagery, um, if we have uh, different uh, images of the same area, they don't exactly have to have the same resolution. So uh, the image pair had uh, a different resolution. We, to solve this problem, we did batch cropping uh, using location points, not the, not using the pixel, pixel by pixel. So we cropped this image using the point here and here as a, uh, a reference. And we cropped the second uh, image also using the same location. And then we resized them both to have uh, 256 by 256 resolution, which as you can see here. Also, another important step we had to do was uh, color enhancement. Uh, the available pan sharpen images uh, of Khalifa Sad have difference in color. Uh, so we, this one can affect the model. And uh, so what we did, uh, we did the color enhancement on both images to have like more uniformity through the pairs. And so the model can learn better with having less differences and uh, like to, for the images to be uh, very alike. Uh, that was it for the uh, data set pre-processing. Uh, this one uh, uh, may sound like it is a short process, but it is actually had a lot of work to be done, especially with the, with the pre-processing of uh, images for change detection. We're talking here about a pair of images. Uh, usually with deep learning models, we have one image and uh, we either do object detection or classification, but in uh, change detection, we need the images uh, pair to have the exact location, uh, colors, and uh, to have as much uniformity as possible to, uh, to not like have wrong results in the model later. After that, we started the data set labeling, which, all, which is also considered uh, a very long process compared to normal deep learning models, since we have to have uh, to label both images and compare them between uh, each other. So we're not just detecting buildings, we're detecting the change happening in the images of before and after. So we used this labeling tool, a tool called Label Me CD, which is specifically for uh, change detection. As you can see here, in in the first image, we have we have a building which is which was then removed in image two, and the the opposite also here happening. We had no building in this area, and we have an addition. Uh, here, if you can see. After that, uh, after labeling uh, the uh, data set, which was around 3,000 pairs, uh, we had to convert uh, those labels from uh, uh, polygon points to uh, mask images. It was before a JSON file, we then converted it to ping images. This is the process of uh, labeling the data set. 
we had the images uh, before as A, images after as B. We open the directory, then we started labeling the images one by one. The next uh, step was uh, training the model. Uh, uh, this change detection task could be uh, like a bit complex compared to other uh, images since we have high resolution remote sensing images and uh, uh, the model learns to do the, to find the uh, features and changes in both images. We used uh, BitCD, which is uh, a, a new model. Uh, it is bi-temporal image transformer. Uh, it uses both CNN and uh, transformer uh, models as a uh, uh, backbone for the, for the model. So first we have the CNN backbone and in the middle we have a uh, Python portal image transformer. And at the end we have the prediction heads to predict the auto change maps. Uh, it is uh, the transformer uh, is basically a new model. Uh, you might or might have not heard about this. Uh, at the beginning, CNN, YOLO are uh, like models that are famous in deep learning, but now we have uh, new models coming uh, and transformer, uh, transformer is one of the new models in the deep learning area. Uh, it is actually used in chat GBT. If you used ChatGPT before, you would know that it's uh, uh, like a very good model for uh, natural language processing. And recently, they've been using Transformer for uh, computer vision. And this is one of the uh, uh, areas where they've used it in change detection. And it actually converged really well in this area. So we trained our custom data set uh, of Dubai. Uh, and uh, currently, the model has an accuracy of 76%, approximately. Finally, the testing and evaluation of the model. Uh, this is one of the... Uh, images we've tested, uh, uh, the images uh, of, this is the image of before and after. And this is the ground truth label that we used, uh, that we labeled already. And this is the output uh, of the model, which was predicted using the model we trained. As you can see, uh, the model, could uh, identify the area of the change really well, especially these small areas uh, that are uh, found by the model. Mm. Yeah, these are more res results also. Uh, as you can see before and after images, we have the ground truth label and uh, the output of the model. Uh, in some areas, the model would uh, also find areas that we haven't noticed in, uh, while labeling the uh, uh, data set, which could be like a human error that can happen in uh, labeling. 
uh, but uh, the model uh, converged really well and we have uh, good results for, uh, using this model. These are also more out, uh, more results. Um, thank you for having us. Uh, I would like to also uh, uh, let you know that we will have uh, a, a camp on uh, uh, on change detection. Uh, it will happen next month. If you would like to join, we will send you an email soon uh, and uh, it will uh, have also uh, like more details about uh, building change detection and uh, change detection in general.